Hello everybody, it's Val from Victory Stitches and Sew Fendi, and today I'm going to do a very quick placemat. You can also use this exact same thing to make napkins. Now as quilters, if you're a quilter, normally we overthink things. We have to think that there has to be layers involved and tons of stitching involved and stuff. So we're just going to take this and bring this completely down to simple. Because a placemat just needs to be something where you're going to stick your pretty little plate, your utensils, etc., and then you're going to take this thing and you're going to wash it. Okay, it doesn't need to be overly done. It can just be so simple. This is a simple way to do it. So this here was a fat quarter. I cut it down to the size I wanted. I think this one here is finished at 13 by 19 or something. Uh, finished at 17 by 11. Boy, I was off there. Okay, 17 by 11. Basically, I just wanted it to fit my plate and utensils and a cup because my table's kind of short. And I usually have a runner down the middle, so this way it's not overlapping over everything. You can make it as big as you want according to your fat quarter or whatever you're cutting. Here's how you make it. It's just simply hemmed. So, you make it an inch larger all the way around than you need it to be. This is going to be your hem, okay? Now, I have taken water-soluble marker. You can use whatever you'd like and draw... This just makes the hemming a little bit easier if you're not good at eyeballing it. Just draw a one inch line all the way across. I don't know if you can see that. I'll pretend to do it with this ruler here. So basically, along this edge here, I'm gonna set that there and go like that, okay? So now I have a line. What are you gonna do when you go to the iron? It is easier if you iron these. It makes it a lot faster. You don't have to, you can just set the machine as you go. Basically, you fold your edge to that line, okay? And iron or just keep it in place, whatever you wanna do. And then fold it over again, okay? And there you go. You have a beautiful hem all the way around, nicely folded. I didn't miter my corners. You can if you would like. That's totally up to you. And you do that and that's it. And that's what your back looks like. Now for the stitching, A, I stitch from the back. B, what I do is my machine has a movable needle. So I use an open toe foot. And that open toe foot, I figure out in the needle how far I need to be over from the open toe bit. And that's what I go by. Here, let me grab it. So it's going to look like if you're sewing, okay, that's what you have there. So put your hemmed edge against the inside of your open toe foot. And as you sew along, the needle is going to hit, you know, wherever you've placed it. So mine, I think mine is like a 2.6 on my machine. All machines are going to be different. Um, and then you just go across and that way you have a guide and the needle hits and you're great. Okay. And that's what I do. So there we go. Make a whole bunch of these. Roll them up, put them in a pretty container, stick them on your table. You will always have beautiful placemats. All right, quick, easy, fat quarter friendly. Yay.